joining me for another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! I have in front of me an Our Generation Retro doll, her name is Rachel, and a OG garden party set here. Now I actually have the retro, OG Retro Cafe, which I've opened up in a previous video, it's amazing, it's got so much play with it, it's just a fantastic set piece and really eyeballing that taco truck, really eyeballing that taco truck. I didn't know about Rachel, um, I came back at a different time, saw her on the shelf and was like, oh my goodness gracious me, she's absolutely gorgeous and she will go fantastically with the cafe <laughs> when I'm playing with it. Yes, I play with the cafe. <laughs> I loved her the moment I saw her because of her outfit, but more so than that, she has roller skates on which are just amazing, amazing. You know, you really get greased lightning vibes when... <laughs> When you look at her. So these boxes are different from the other ones and they're colouring. They have retro down here to signify they're from that range. Uh, her name is Rachel. Go to the side here we have the power of the girl, a little bit of write up and on the back there is a small story of an influential girl. Um, this one is Ashley's story and you get a little bit of a, a little screenshot of the doll there. Love these skates! Love, love, love these skates. Uh, I'm really impressed with the skates. Now, this was one of the cheaper dolls, too, which actually impressed me because um, sometimes I find these shoes are almost... <laughs> some of the shoes I've seen lately have been about three quarters of the price of a doll, which is unbelievable. You're better off just buying a brand... Whole, paying another quarter and buying a brand new doll and getting an entire outfit, etc. Some of the outfits have been really, really expensive in shoes, which doesn't make sense to me with dolls, but that's the way it is. Let's open her up and have a look up close. Oh my goodness gracious me, she is absolutely gorgeous. I am going to bring her up and we're going to have a close up look. But her outfit is so on point and those skates. I am loving, loving, loving those skates with the little ties etc. I am so glad. I, I When I went back, the next, uh, it was a couple of weeks afterwards, um, this place is quite a fair chunk away from me. When I went back to have a look if they had any other retro dolls, she was completely sold out. So there was at least five or six when I went there last time. So that just shows that she was definitely in demand with the doll lovers, young and old alike. <laughs> Let's bring her up and have a look. So here she is up close. She has a very basic face, blue eyes, eyebrows in brown across here. She has a shimmery pink lipstick. She has what I call baby doll eyes which means as you put her down you can put her to sleep. Lovely semi smile there. <laughs> it's not a full blown smile but a semi smile. Now her hairstyle um, I'm going to have to re-pull it. You can see that there's pulls in her hair which is how she came basically so someone's obviously had a bit of a tug at her hair at some point. It's just tied into a side ponytail so it's a very very easy fit fix and then there was one little strand which was kind of wound around it like this that goes into there. Not much, nothing really fancy with her hairstyle at all. However, I love the deep blonde color of her hair. It is very soft. There is no product in it, which is perfect for a child to play with. So now looking at her clothing area, she has her work uniform, which is a full dress. It is a peachy pink color. It is done up with velcro at the front here so it is not a back back velcro it is a front velcro so you do it up there. It has buttons just covering it. She then has this little apron which has a shimmery heart and it's so cute. It is a cream color and black trim on all the outfit and black buttons. Um, I think I picked, did I pick out the light pink scarf? Now this apron is tied together at the back. You will see there is a plastic tag in there holding it. I'm going to leave that in as I have no intention of undressing her. I want her to stay in her work uniform. Here is her movement. Her head can look from side to side to side. She does not have the ability to look up or down. Her head is pulled in a facing forward way. Her arm movement 
she cannot pull off to the side however she can move it forward and backwards the deluxe dolls can bend at the elbow um i don't think she is a deluxe doll no um but i don't recommend it to be quite honest the amount of deluxe dolls i've seen that have got white stretch marks in the plastic from use it's just not something i really recommend on any doll that has a plastic joint that is not an actual joint <laughs> Just my own personal thing down here. We have the OG label sewn into the dress so you know it's official. If you pull her dress up, sorry darling, I don't want to, but I have to. <laughs> uh, you will see her tags off to the side with our generation. There is at least three tags from memory. Yep, so three tags on her side. She is wearing little light purple undies. They are removable. Her plastic, um, her body is fabric well stuffed and then her leg movement here she can move her legs forward she can move them back but she cannot ninja kick to the side so she has the five basic movements and the five basic points let's bring her up and have a look at those shoes I would have brought her probably even if she had standard shoes but the moment I saw she had these roller skates on I just had to have her there was no question she basically got ripped off the shelf <laughs> There is a tag, a plastic tie between the laces holding in that bow. I'm going to leave that there as I do not want to take her roller skates off. The roller skates have a glitter in the plastic. So they are actually shimmery. I hope that's showing up. It's showing up on this boot quite well. Then we go down to here. It's all plastic joints, but it's being painted gold to make it look like it's metal. Moves easy. Can she stand by herself? I love when the 18 inch dolls are able to be displayed by themselves. Ta-da! Yes, she can be. But because she is on rollers, I would still recommend a, a doll stand or some sort of leg support behind her. Just because any sort of, you know, sort of bumps and grinds or child running past, which happens in a happy, in a happy house, children do run. <laughs> And she might just go, timber. <laughs> so I would recommend um, definitely having some sort of support with her. I just want to show here, you can see that the Velcro on the dress goes right down to the bottom. So it isn't just the top here. It does, the split is the entire dress for the opening. I love her very much. So that is Rachel, the Retro Cafe Serving Doll. So the next set I want to show is something I purchased for the cafe that I just saw and I absolutely fell in love with. This is the garden party set. So this is meant to be a set for a garden party outside. But again, I thought this had some things that I could use in the cafe and were just absolutely gorgeous. Um, you can see the cake stand down here, this jug with all the glasses and stuff I'll bring every individual piece up so though it is meant to be a garden party set basically it's going to be used in the cafe set oh my goodness gracious me I didn't even really pay attention to this little serving board it has our generation on the back you know you look for these things when you're going through the toy bins at secondhand places just so you know that things are authentic they do label their stuff they are embossed or have tags this is a little serving tray done in blue and white checkers. It's slightly faded in areas to make it look worn. It is really, really cute. I absolutely love it. And then if I turn it this way. Oh my goodness. Look at this little sandwich. It's a butterfly sandwich again with the OG underneath to show it's authentic. It looks like it has a, a paste, lettuce, and cheese inside. I'm assuming it's a butterfly sandwich. It is so incredibly cute. So you've got one of those to put on. You have another one of those to put on your little serving tray. Then you have these little fruit tarts. Oh my gosh. I used to make fruit flan when I was younger. I was really good at it with custard and fruit pieces um, over a sweet base. <laughs> I haven't made it in a while. It makes me want to make one. But these little fruit tarts, these ones don't have OG on, but you can tell by the quality what they are. So I'm just going to sit these. And these were in the set, and I didn't actually pay much attention to that serving tray inside because I was too busy looking at the little foods, which are just gorgeous. But I love, love this tray. How cute is that? 
So then what is a garden party without gift boxes? Now because I am using this with the cafe, I'm going to pretend these are takeaway boxes but they're absolutely gorgeous. They've got nothing inside, they're just empty boxes that are pre-made with a little pink ribbon over them and they will make amazing takeaway boxes for play. So cute! There are these material, now you've got a little, a little loop here so you can hang it up material flags for the garden party in the pink, yellows and blues. How cute is that? I mean honestly this is just stuff, if I had this stuff as a little girl I would have been absolutely crazy. I'm crazy about it as an adult <laughs> but as a little girl I would have been bonkers. <laughs> so adorable. We then have a little pinwheel which does work. <sighs> It does work. I'm not too fussed about the pinwheel to be honest. Even with a garden party I don't think I've ever stuck pinwheels on my kids party tables so <laughs> it's just something that's there and it works so cute. Then one of the big reasons I chose the garden party set was for this pink and blue cake display piece. I absolutely love when you put these little display pieces on the counters etc. It just gives it that authentic feel. Now with this also came these little colored macaroons. So we have blue, we have pink, and we have green, and then we say abracadabra, and we have another three. <laughs> So these are again very cute little pieces. I'm probably going to move these onto a plate and move a cake into this display piece rather than the macaroons because the macaroons honestly it looks a bit silly in there. They're so small and this piece is so big. It will look so much cooler with a cake in there. We then have a couple of glasses with straws in and they look like they're filled with some sort of lemonade or I don't know if you, maybe you could stretch it to orange juice, doesn't really look like orange juice, this is too yellow, but yeah, so I love these sorts of things that look like they've got food inside. I don't know why, I've got a real thing for cute food pieces. So another reason I chose this set was for this lemonade, it's got a little orange slice, I don't think that's a lemon slice, mm, maybe it is, but it looks like an orange slice to me jug full of juice, it just is absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous. Another thing that I can sit on the counter and put a little display piece in front saying, you know, lemonade, a dollar a glass. Just so cute! I love, love, love cute things. So the last thing to this set is this sign saying, welcome to OG's garden party. Now, again, I'm not going to use it for a garden party, so this is kind of a bit eh to me. It's something that I was in there and <laughs> doesn't really have anything I can do with the cafe. Kind of wish that this was more like a chalkboard and I could, as as with the back of the cafe, there's a chalkboard you can reuse and reuse again with um, chalk. I wish this was like a chalk piece so I could write on it like, um, you know, welcome to our retro cafe or something like that on there. It's just something really cute. It is a cute piece. I'll keep it, but I think I'm going to have to modify this. I don't really think I need to make a garden party one. However, I'm really, really happy with this set. So here is the lovely Rachel again, ready to do her after school job of working at OG Cafe where she just loves serving people the drinks and the cookies and all the little fancy things. I think I'm going to use those flags. I honestly think I'm going to use those flags on um, the back of the wall behind the cafe just to make it extra cute. The macaroons and the cake stand definitely using, the drinks definitely using, this stuff down here definitely using. Uh, the sign and the pinwheel, uh, where did I put the pinwheels, over there somewhere, um, not so much, these I can use as takeout boxes, but they all kind of, that pink just ties in with her dress so incredibly much, she is a beautiful doll, and honestly I think she was around the $35 range, and for $35 you have a beautiful 18 inch doll dressed in roller skates. The accessories box was about NZ $25 I believe it was, so yeah, the accessory boxes are 10, just, you know, for $10 more you can get a whole doll, but they are the accessories and they are absolutely gorgeous and you need them to make your little, little ones happy for their role play. If you love our generation dolls and sets, please give this video up.
thumbs up if you love toys in general please subscribe we love to open toys here and we love to share and we have a lot of new toys coming up soon thank you so much for watching i hope you're staying safe during these strange times with see you in the next video bye bye